In this video, we will show you how to rearrange equations involving only variables. This can be useful when you're given questions where the given information uh, will ultimately leave you isolating a variable to find an answer. In this case, we're going to be isolating for h. So it would be assumed that the particular question would give you the value for v, p, and r, and thus we need to isolate h. So in order to get started, what we're going to do is essentially look at the right side of the equation and determine how we will get the variable p as well as r squared away from h. Because we have multiplication assumed between each of these variables, we are going to do the opposite operation, which is divide. And since we want to eliminate both p and r squared, we're going to be dividing out p and r squared. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. Since p divided by p is 1, and r squared divided by r squared is 1, we are left with h isolated equals v over p times r squared. And our first formula has been rearranged for the variable h. Looking at this second formula, this is the perimeter of a rectangle formula, we are trying to isolate L. So in this case, the perimeter and the width are likely given to us in a question. So we'd like to get L isolated. There's a couple different ways we can do this. We could distribute the two into the brackets to eliminate the bracket, or we could also consider the fact that the two is multiplied by the bracket, and we can do the opposite. by dividing out the two. Since 2 divided by 2 is 1, we're left with p over 2, or half of the perimeter, is equal to the length plus the width. This should make sense because originally over here, we were doubling this bracket. So in order to get rid of that 2, we had to half both sides. So instead of the full perimeter, we now have half of the perimeter. From here, we can now isolate L by doing the opposite operation, which is subtracting on both sides, and we're left with P over 2 minus W equals L. To show you another way this could also be taken care of, I'm going to bring it to the next page and we'll explore one more option. So instead of dividing out 2, what we could do is distribute. And we'll be left with p equals 2l plus 2w. Bringing the 2w term to the left side, or subtracting 2w on both sides will leave us with p minus 2w equals 2l. And finally, our last step would be to divide out 2 from both sides, and we are left with l equals p minus 2w over 2, or p over 2 minus 2w over 2. But, since the 2's cancel out, we are ultimately left with simply w, just like in the last
just like in the last slide. So two different ways. Hopefully this will help you as you prepare for your test on how to isolate variables in an equation.